Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, The Voice for Fitness. And if the idea of walking out on the floor and approaching a customer to see if you can book an appointment with them, if you can create some rapport so that you can make them client and sell them doesn't appeal to you, then listen up. So I've worked with trainers for over 15 years, either presenting nationally at conferences for NSCA, for IDEA, and what I've learned is from both them across the country and in fact internationally and in my own house in the Midwest where 20 trainers really reluctantly would just avoid at all costs walking the floor and talking to people that that's not something that feels very good to most personal trainers. Feels like they would be too pushy, feels like they would be infringing on other people and their time. And here's why. It's that you're thinking about how you like to buy and that that is not how you'd like to buy. You don't want somebody to approach you and to be sold. And so you're probably 100% right. So I'm not all a huge fan of walking the floor and approaching people, except if I see somebody that I can offer some helpful information to, if I see an error happening, somebody's misusing a piece of equipment, I know for a fact, and so do you, they're not doing that intentionally. They didn't come in with the idea of, I wanna waste my time, I wanna use a piece of machine that's meant for an exercise incorrectly to get bad results or possibly get injured. Nobody does that. So you're doing them a favor by approaching them. If you know your stuff, you know your exercise, you know your technique, and you see someone doing something where they could potentially be injured or they could just simply be slowing down their progress and the chance that they're gonna result, why wouldn't you want to give them a helpful tip? Because that's really marketing. That's moving a client along the pathway to trusting you and you're building rapport. So here's your client now. They're right here, your next client. Here's you. We want them to run over here, but they are just not going to do it. Not because you've got a great shirt on that says, trainer, ask me any fitness question. Not because you put a great business card at the front desk with a picture of you on it, not because you look good or you have great biceps. They're not going to come and ask you. In fact, all of those things probably make you more intimidating than friendly to them. If they see something that they just do not think that they are, they're going to shy away from you rather than be attracted to you. So we need to approach them, give them that tip. When you see them doing a shoulder press, and you see them doing it incorrectly or see them grimacing because you think probably that it's bothering their shoulders, you need to approach them and let them know, you know, how can I help you? What's your goal here? You know, I think there might be a better, safer, more comfortable way for you to work your shoulders. Can I show it to you? Do you have a few minutes? That's it. That's it. You're just going to make that approach and ask and you might get a no but if they say yes you've probably then gone to second base with them so you're over that first step and now they actually trust you a little bit and they're willing to spend some time with you because you've offered to give them something in return for their valuable time that's moving somebody along the pathway that may be all that happens on that specific day but the next time you see that person that customer that walks in the door who's not yet a client now sees you as a friend. You can ask them how it's going, leave it alone after that so they don't feel pressured, they don't feel you're hovering, they don't feel you're gonna reach in and grab the next thing because people shy away from something that's given generously out of fear of owing something, that law of reciprocity means that if you give them something they feel obligated to give back. No one anymore today wants to be in that position of feeling obligated. But if you can let it go, you will probably attract them. Talk to them, stop by, be comfortable around them, don't hover, offer them suggestions, but 
let them then come to you next. The next step. So every time you see them, be friendly and that's all. Offer another tip if you see the need for another tip. Ask them how it's going. Ask them if that exercise is a little bit more comfortable, if they feel like they're making progress. Insert every other time you see them. Is there anything else that you have a question about? You're doing several other exercises. Is there anything else that's bothering you? If there's something we need to tweak, let me know. Because then when you offer help again, it's been a long time since this first one. It's not going to weigh so heavy if you spend another five minutes for free on them. Ideally, depending on your market, if you can spend pressure-free time and get someone on there seven times, give them some exposure, very likely they will become a customer. When a program comes up that seems extremely appropriate for them, when you watch them, observe them, you're probably there at the same time of day when they work out regularly. When you watch them, observe them, make sure that really, are they doing exercises correctly? Do the exercises make sense for them? Are they functional for that person at that point in their life and the goals that they most likely have? If you're not sure what their goals are, ask them because that's how you're going to move them down here to you closer. And eventually, you're going to have to ask for the sale, but it should come very naturally. I've got a few things that I think will interest you, and I'm pretty sure that we can help you get more from the current program that you're doing. Does that sound something like something that you're interested in?